on guys wildflies lawn service here back with another video and today i'm actually making a real quick video on how to change the blades on a skag mower now i'm actually doing this on a 2018 skag v ride too um, but it's really similar for most mowers and i'd imagine that the uh, bolts that go up through the spindles are basically the exact same size uh so let me show you what i do all right, so what you're going to need to change the blades on the Skag is going to be an uh, impact driver, or you can also use a socket set. However, you need two sockets, actually, in order to take it off, or a socket and a wrench. And now the socket you actually need to uh, take it off is a 15 16 socket. Now, this happens to fit my V-Ride 2 absolutely perfect. All right, guys, so it's really just that simple. If you have the impact driver, you just need the attachment and allow it to connect to a 15 16 socket, and that's it. So with that, let's get right to it. All right, guys, so you just saw step one is going to be pulling your mower up onto the ramp of your trailer. Now, if you have a mower jack or mower lift, whatever it's called, to help lift up the front of it to, to change blades, you know, that works too. Uh, I'm too cheap to buy one. And that's it. It's really that simple. Just pull it up, basically half of it on, half of it hanging off. Uh, put the parking brake on, and you should be good to go. And I'll show you. I can push down on here, and uh, that machine's not going anywhere. Alright guys, step two, and this is with the Skag V-Ride, it may be similar with other Skag mowers, but I gotta take off this center plate. Now you can start with your side one, and with the Skags, you can do this from the top if you're using an impact driver. Just loosens right up, and the blade falls out down below. Alright, so now that this blade has fallen off, you're gonna notice you have this little nut here, the uh, actual bolt. And then you have a spacer here. So make sure to take the spacer, save it as well as the bolt off to the side. Remove the blade from the bolt like so. And then this little spacer here goes on the very bottom like that. So just leave it all together like that. So I'm going to set these extra parts right here on the mower so I know where they're at. And this way I could take the other two blades off. Alright, so for the first generation V-Ride, this exhaust was not across like this, uh, horizontal, so you were able to access the mi middle pulley. So you could also do that from the top, just like I did on the other side. However, with Skag V-Ride 2s, uh, the exhaust blocks that, so I literally cannot fit my uh, impact driver in there to take it off. Alright, so you can still access this just from underneath like this, uh, and that's why you pulled up on the trailer. It gives you more access underneath to remove the blade, and just put it on the middle one like so and take it off. And so next, we gotta take the third blade off. So uh, we actually can't access it where we're at on the trailer right here. So we actually gotta do the exact same thing on the other side of the trailer tailgate and it'll give us room to access that blade when it comes down. Alright guys, so I just sharpened all my blades. Here's how they came out. Now I am by no means really good at sharpening blades. That's why I didn't make a video on it. I'm only doing the blade change because I do actually know how to do that. Alright, so now to put these blades back together, you're going to do the exact opposite you did take them off. So you're going to take this with a little bit of spacer like this on the bottom. And you're going to put your blade on just above that. Next is the spacer. And then your nut is going to go on top after you stick it up to the spindle.
Now I got all the blades back on, and one thing I want to mention real quick is with a three blade deck such as this, you're going to want to have them staggered. So for example, for this one here, I have it straight up and down like this. The middle one is exactly sideways, and then this one is straight up and down again. So you want to have them just like that, and that way when they're spinning, they're never going to hit one another. And now it's as simple as putting the cover back on and you're good to mow. All right guys, we got the cover back on. We got three freshly sharpened blades on it and uh, it's ready to make, go and make some beautiful stripes with some properties. Anyways guys, it's seriously that easy to change the blades on your Skag mower. Uh, I did it on the like, Skag v 2 like I said at the beginning of the video. However, you can also do it just like this on a Turf Tiger, Cheetah, you know, whatever you guys are using. Uh, the Skag v Ride first generation is actually even easier because you don't have the exhaust blocking you from the middle one. So you can do it all from the top and uh, it's definitely a bit easier. Anyways guys, I definitely recommend picking up an impact wrench to do it. Uh, I was cheaper out and I hadn't bought one for like the last couple years uh, that I've been needing it to do stuff. And uh, this is the first time I bought the attachment. And uh, I tell you what, it makes a world of a difference. So if you have the money to spare, buy one of these. It's going to make your blade change go from like 15 minutes down to maybe 5 minutes if that. Uh, it just took me longer because I'm recording the day. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and let me down below if this helped you guys out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.